Hello, darlings. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you're sub for sub, please leave a comment. Now for the video. Hello, darlings. Today we are going to be doing the OG original type cat eye polish. But first, here is a preview of the 9D from Model 1. Okay, y'all, this video has been giving me nothing but problems, so um, I'm starting this with showing you all the different tools that I personally have um, for doing cat eye polishes in general. I only have the old ones. I don't have like the 5D or like the in-between, and I should be getting the 90 today, Friday. Um, so the first one was like the wavy line with the flower. The second one was the pen one that you can like write initials or, you know, do the swirl. The black one is supposed to do a whole bunch of different designs, but I don't know how to use it like that. And this is the original magnet with the round and the rectangle. Now, I just want to show you here how strong these magnets are. Like that magnet is just the little tiny dot on the end and it picks that whole other double magnet up and you could whip it around <laughs> and not lose it for the most part. But if you get the big strong ones like that, look at this, it just snaps like pop, pop, <laughs> right up into it. So using kitchen magnets may work, but they have to be strong magnets for them to work. So just keep that in mind when you are purchasing or trying to use any type of cat eye polish. Now, I took these mini claws and put black on them, and I call them mini claws, no shade to anybody that prefers that, so that length and style. It's just I've been using the longer stilettos for um, my Halloween stuff, so that idea just kind of got stuck in my head, and one of my sisters loves this shape, and um, she calls it that as well, so you know, no shade, no shade, much love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, now this cat eye polish is probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, when I bought it, I just wanted to try something a little different because usually the background is black and the, sh the strip in the middle is colored. But this one you'll see is very, very beautiful. It gives you kind of like a, a tiger eye stone look and I really like it. I'm going to order some more colors of this brand of this type um if you want links for anything i'm not going to add them in the video please just dm me or even let me know in the comments and i will put it up there or dm it to you or whatever um so i decided to just go with the regular slanted cat eye look for each polish so that you can see what the different types look like in that form because you know the designs are endless you can do anything your imagination can make of it, you know? So, um, this one is a complete fail. This is what it's supposed to look like. I was really disappointed because I thought that, you know, that was my favorite one that I was looking forward to, to having, and it came out like this. And I don't know what the deal is, but even after you apply the magnet, to make the line it's like the stuff disperses and disappears almost so i don't know if it's just like i got a bad bottle or it's cheap quality of of polish because these are very inexpensive a dollar fifty and under so that might have something to do with it i do like that um that rounded half circle look but i really wanted to stick with the um oh yeah there it is again sorry i've done this video a few times so you know, <laughs> you, you get lost after a while. Um, so I don't know what happened with it, but I was not happy about it. But I did want to try to show it anyway, just in case something changed with it. Um, in the description box below, there will be codes or, or a code, I should say, for 10% off of the Model One's 90 Cat Eye Polish Gel Polish Set, whatever, on Amazon. Now, it's expensive to me. It's $27.99 and you get 
um, a base coat, a top coat, a matte top coat, a black, and then the two cat eye polishes with a magnet. Um, so if you don't have any polishes or any cat eye polishes, it might be a good purchase for you. But if you have, you know, ample supplies, you probably don't want to buy this kit. I'm not going to lie. The codes and the um, review opportunity are U.S. only. I'm so sorry, my, my international ladies. I love you. Mwah, mwah. I'm going to try to figure out something that I can do for you as well. Um, this cat eye polish is the wide cat eye. Now, I haven't used these pretty much since I bought them, and they have been sitting. Um, I also have those two colors as well, but that's what they show that you can do with it and how it looks different from the regular thin line or double thin line cat eye. But I think I didn't mix it up very well because it wasn't performing the way that it was when I first bought it. I should have really, really, you know, got to the bottom and mixed it up. Um, it's still a beautiful dark purple, but, you know, it didn't, like I said, it didn't perform the way that it did originally. I do have a link for review opportunities down below in the drop-down box as well. Again, USA only. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad, but, you know, it's, it's the vendor preference or whatever. I can't do anything about it, but... The link to the Amazon store, the 10% off code, which is only good for the Model 1's 9D Cat Eye Polish, nothing else in the store, and the review opportunity for um, 6 Dip Powders Model 1's or Leafu, whatever, and then the Cat Eye Polish. You can do one or the other. You can't do both, and you have to be in the USA. So that's all down below in the drop-down box. Now this is me just playing with the magnet, trying to get the thicker line. And of course, um, when the camera was paused, it came out perfect. So I reset it and tried to do it on camera and nope, <laughs> thumbs down, double thumbs down. Doesn't that always happen? You try something in practice, it looks phenomenal. And then you put on the camera and you can't get crap. <laughs> so yeah. That was my problem with this. <laughs> I want to show some love to everyone. New subscribers, hello! Please um, like and comment and share. And old subscribers, of course, I love you. My, uh, my diehard nail sisters and everyone else. Um, just nail enthusiasts. Other YouTubers, please leave a comment in in the comment section saying you have a channel and I will sub you back. Um, so just please let me know. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We're still growing. Um, the watch time that my nail sisters are doing for me is phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna go back to the nails for one second. This is Chameleon Cat Eye Polish. When I got it, it's still a MOOC, so I think that might be why it's not quite performing the way that it should. It should have like a yellowish band in addition to that reddish pink, but I can't see it. <clears throat> so I don't know if it's because it's an inexpensive polish or um, it did that when I first bought it, so it's not like it, it changed. Um, but I want to thank everyone again for the watch time. Um, I passed 1,000 subscribers, but I don't know if everyone knows. I know other YouTubers know, but you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time before you can get monetized. And one of our sisters, Miss Pumpkin Nail Miss <laughs> Miss Pumpkin's Nail Station, Sarah, has has made the leap into monetization. So congratulations, sis. I barely have 500 hours of watch time, so they just kind of play my videos in the background, um, you know, when they're not home, when they're sleeping, when they're cleaning, whatever, just to give me the extra time, so thank you. Mwah, mwah. Okay, now, this nail is a starry night, starry sky, something like this, and it looks pretty dull when you first put it on but it really transforms once you get the magnet on there maybe not that design so much i'm not really too partial for that but this really blows me away um the difference in it being starry sky is you have that hollow background 
So it's supposed to look like, you know, like the Milky Way or the gal, you know, out in the galaxy or whatever. But I love it. This is my second favorite. And I believe the 90 polishes also are some sort of hollow background. I am not positive. I don't have them yet. Um, but when I do get them, you know, that's probably going to be my next video is playing with those. But that one shines so beautifully. Now, these are all the finished looks, all top coated. See, that second one, it just dispersed. It was a beautiful line, at least, even if it wasn't the color that I had anticipated. But it ended up like that, and it didn't sit long at all. And there's a little dot there, and it was bothering me, so... <laughs> But I think they all are beautiful, um, and I just really love them. Now, I just wanted to go through and show you what each of these different um, magnetic things can do. I mean, I know you probably already know, and if you're still rocking with me at this point, thank you so much for still being here and, um, you know, giving a full view or close to a full view. Now, this is a a pinkish purple, I mean a purplish blue chameleon one because I bought the pink one and the blue one. Um, so I put that on there and I used the pen to try to make a, a, a B, I think, and it ended up just looking like nothing. So I went and tried to do the swirl design and it came out okay. I tried to touch it up a little bit and it looked a little bit better, but I'm not great at it. Obviously, I don't have a lot of practice with it. So, you know, just like anything, practice makes perfect, and I haven't really played with these that much, so um, it is what it is, but I did want to show what each tool does, just because I showed them in the beginning, and I wanted to give you, or show you, how everything in my personal collection looks, you know, I don't have any of the 5D, or, you know, any of that stuff, so... This is what I got. This is what I'm showing you. Don't forget about those codes and those links if you want to do the reimbursement deal. That's down there as well. Um, and like I said, once you go into that, I don't have anything to do with it after that. So, but I've had good results with the with this uh, Amazon store. I was going to say company or brand, but it's, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. So this, I was going to try to do a zigzag, but it kind of ended up looking like nothing. So I made it look like, you know, like claws raking across it. Just so you could see how the polish reacts to that specific type of magnet. And I think it came out okay. Came out better than the, the B that I tried to make that looked like two circles. It looked like an eight or something. <laughs> But see, again, if you don't like the design, all you have to do is swipe over it and bing, bang, boom. And here is me trying to do the plus sign with it. Because you can do a lot of things with that magnet, but I am not sure which part does which. <laughs> so I just kind of went over it with every part um, trying to play with it because... They market it kind of as um, like a jack of all trades, but, you know, like I said, I haven't really played with them that much, but they're, they're definitely fun to play with. I hope that the 9D work well and I'm not disappointed. Um, you know, I miss the in-between, so if you have any comments or suggestions or anything, comparisons with the 5D, compared to either the old or the new 90 you know please let me know get the conversation going teach me something because <laughs> y'all know that I am new I'm still a newbie so I am open to learning everything so that is it thanks so much for watching have a marvelous day and thanks again Mwah.